Hey, I got a telescope here by Saboni that's off from their Amazon store. Yes, it's not a very expensive telescope, so I'm curious as to just what it'll be able to pick up and see. And we'll be using a Sony A7S to hook to the end of it along with a Galaxy S10 phone to give you an idea what you're up against. Now this is a 60 millimeter objective on this and it comes with a 20 millimeter lens right here. Of course kind of basic but it does get the job done. And this will provide with I think 21 or 27 power magnification. And then a 45 degree erector mirror to install on it and we will be using all this along with its tripod. Now everything gets packed in this case. It fits nice and snug, does not take up much room. It's even got straps on the back for carrying as like a backpack. Like I said, the, the price of it is very, very reasonable. I don't want to see the price on uh, video in case it changes. Now, hard to fit it in the camera here, but this is the tripod mount. Tip towards the sides like a typical one. Rotation, tightening it down for tipping forward. An extension and it does extend quite far pretty good locking mechanisms on the legs kind of impressed with that it does drop down to a very compact tripod now as I said you'd have to purchase something like this separately but this will be my mount for my phone. This drops right into the eyepiece and you put your phone in and that's what you will be viewing through some of the video is my Galaxy S10 looking through this scope. I might put a link in for this and the other hookup will be going off from this uh, tube mount for the eyepiece. I'll be using a T-ring adapter and a T-ring for a Sony and them just screw right on the end. I was very impressed with that. And I can run Prime with my telescope and my Sony camera which I was able to achieve just enough focus with it. Or you could drop in the 20 millimeter eyepiece and run it that way. But that's how we're going to be using this to give you an idea how it is. From what I've seen I've already went out and tried it out. It's a very reasonably priced and very decent spotting scope. If you're looking for the well-priced scope this would be ideal. Movements on it seem pretty fluid. Uh, good locking mechanisms. It comes with the finder scope. Which I already have it attached to it. Like I said, it all breaks down and packs into that little package, which is pretty cool. So let's get outside and try this scope out. Okay, uh, test subject for that telescope is going to be a farm out there that's approximately a little over a half a mile away, maybe more. And we'll be zooming in on that. Okay, right here is that farm that is probably a half a mile away. In the silo, it's live view. A little bit windy out, so hopefully the camera's all right. <clears throat> Works pretty good for day and night. All right, here's Prime with my Sony camera hooked to the scope, and this is at nighttime. And I have my ISO turned up, but it is pulling in quite well for a basic scope. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, focus looks pretty good. And the 20 miller eyepiece through the Galaxy S10. This is that farm. Live view. burning wood outside. Pretty neat. And then down that road, as far as you can see where the road goes up over the hill, we'll zoom in there. And there's a fire number way out there. We'll focus on that a little bit. 
And down there is a, right down there is a fire number. It's a couple hundred yards away. Darken it up a little bit. Okay, here's with this Galaxy S10 Plus in a 20 millimeter eyepiece on video mode live view. Here is that road. You can film with it. You're going to have that circle in there. I'm running a camera portrait. We might switch it over to landscape just to see. All right, here we are on landscape mode. There's that road, and there's that fire number. Running a Galaxy S10 phone through it with a cheap adapter and a 20 millimeter eyepiece. And then way up by that woods, there'll be a trail we'll zoom in on. There's a trail going up into the woods. And there's that trail, the Galaxy S10, in a 20 millimeter eyepiece. Well, you could view wildlife quite easily with this setup. Fairly cheap, too. I'm not sure what star that is, but if you look around it with the unaided eye, you can't see anything. And in this, you can see an incredible amount of stars with it. Here's another group of stars that are very faint to see with the human eye. And we're looking at hundreds of them through the scope. Okay, right there, you're looking at the Horsehead Nebula in Orion. Pretty impressive. I'm going to digitally zoom in. I don't know how well I got to focus. I think I got it fairly decent. <clears throat> but that is uh, running straight through the camera. My Sony camera at Prime hooked up to this. No 20 millimeter eyepiece or anything. It's pretty neat. I'll try to go to black and white or something. I went into uh, APC or uh, non full frame size on it just to see with my camera. And then we can zoom in a little bit on that. That's coming out of this little scope. That's pretty neat. Go back to color. There's color. Seems to be working pretty well. And there's the moon looking through it. Pretty awesome. Try to darken it down a little bit. Now your eyes will be a lot clearer than this looking so, but you can use utilize a camera to do this. Pretty neat. Again, there's the moon. I might have it a little bit better focused. I don't know if I did before or not. But I'm impressed with this little scope. Yeah, kitty. It is cold out here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Try to get back to Orion. We'll see. That's the night shots. I turned my ISO and everything down. We'll see how that looks with the Horsehead Nebula. I'm going to zoom in there under black and white. Pretty nice. 
All right, there you are. Savoni spotting scope. Kind of impressed with it, as you saw in the video there. We'll do ahead and break this thing down quick, pack it up. I don't know if you got to take the finer scope off to pack it up or not. We are going to find out. Look at that, you don't have to. Everything contained in quite easily. It's pretty nice. Check that link out down below for this spotting scope slash telescope. I think you'd be impressed, especially with the price. There you go. Savoni.